Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. I'm here with Brian Babler, and this is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update for May 7th, uh, 2021. Uh, Brian, we are living the definition of range bound in the muni market right now. Uh, yields have ticked up or down on any given day, but are really staying in pretty much the same area. Even after a very surprising non-farm payrolls report this morning, uh, many fewer jobs created in the United States last month than expected. Uh, bonds initially uh, responded with a quick rally, yields fell down, and then within a couple hours, they, they bounced back very close to where they started. So what are you seeing in the markets? Yeah, this week definitely carried a firmer tone uh, for interest rates in general. Um, even before today's non-farm payroll, it seemed like the market kind of hung on every dueling word uh, that we heard uh, throughout the week. Uh, there were some comments out of uh, Treasury Secretary Yellen, a couple of various uh, Fed presidents. Um, so, you know, as anybody makes any sort of commentary about the current state of the economy, what that may mean for inflation, any sort of Fed activity, uh, the market really just kind of dissects everything that's said. Um, unsurprisingly, you know, the market's very sensitive to uh, any sort of repeat of a, of a taper tantrum. So uh, they're really hanging on every word and, and you're seeing uh, the market react um, to, uh, to any sort of uh, commentary that, uh, that's out there. Um, but that being said, you know, it, it did feel like there was kind of a general risk on um, kind of mode this week. Stocks were generally higher. Um, the NASDAQ was a little bit weaker before today, uh, but generally the, the Dow and the S&P uh, were pretty firm throughout the week. Um, but despite that, uh, we did see Treasury yields drift lower. Um, and that really, you know, that rally uh, accelerated today. Like you said, after the non-farm payroll uh, surprise, uh, yields fell about 10 basis points. Um, we've regained most of that ground, um, but, uh, the con but uh, as you mentioned, uh, non-farm payroll came in at just 266,000 um, when the, uh, you know, the market was looking for about a million jobs um, uh, this morning. So uh, that combined with uh, last month's number being revised down from 916,000 to 770,000. Uh, and then also there was a little bit of a surprise uptick in the, um, uh, in the unemployment rate uh, from 6% to 6.1% when the market was looking for a decrease to 5.8%. So, um, you know, week over week, um, the, the 10 years down, uh, you know, maybe about eight basis points or so as we're recording this, uh, we're looking, you know, right around a, a 155 yield on the 10 year uh, from a 163 close last week. Um, and the 30 years down, maybe about five or six basis points uh, at around 224 um, as we're recording this. Um, but, you know, the, the move in munis uh, was a little more muted. Um, you know, it's unlikely that we'll see too much movement in the MMD curve today. Uh, Activity is probably going to be a little bit light, but it wouldn't be surprising to see uh, tax exempt rates rally a little bit on the heels of, uh, of this number as well. Um, but overall, for the week, uh, you know, we saw a little bit of a flattening in the muni curve. Uh, the front end was actually a little weaker. Um, Five-year MMD was about two basis points higher as of yesterday's close. Uh, and then further out the curve, uh, longer MMD was lower by about two basis points as of yesterday. So we'll see, um, you know, if, if there's any additional movement today. Um, but, uh, you know, a, a little bit of an underperformance uh, for muni is not surprising. Um, but, you know, certain parts of the muni market definitely did not feel weak. Uh, we continue to see new issues price extremely well, especially when you when you have, uh, you know, more constructive structures that buyers are really looking for. Um, it's very common for, you know, five to 10 basis point adjustments lower in yield on new issue deals. Uh, we heard uh, uh, this week's NTTA deal uh, on the sub lean uh, the junior lien about over 400 million in bonds. Uh, some of those yields were lowered by as much as 25 basis points. Uh, they had initially started longer fours in the context of plus 60 to MMD, and those ended up at plus 35. So you know you see um, you, you see new issues get priced really really strongly, and part of that you know we keep talking about the uh, the, the supply demand uh, imbalance with lower supply. Um, but even when there is supply, you know, this week was over 10 billion. Uh, a lot of that, especially in the competitive market, it takes two and 3% coupons for dealers to buy deals. 
which isn't an ideal structure for the institutional market. So, you know, this week we had large deals for Pennsylvania Geo, Mass Geo, a couple of other bigger ones uh, where they have to price longer twos, and uh, a lot of those balances are still around. So you see negotiated deals with fours and fives, uh, multiples of times oversubscribed, and uh, and lots of, of competitive deals with balances hanging around for a couple of weeks because the structures aren't, just aren't what uh, buyers are looking for. So it does feel like that supply demand imbalance is exacerbated a little bit um, when when dealers need to put uh, unattractive structures uh, on on the deals that they're pricing. Um, but uh, you know that that's kind of uh, that's kind of where where the market's just been trending lately. Um, Amidst all of that, uh, you know, real another very strong week for bond insurance. Um, we would highlight uh, Bloomberg's Eric Eric Kazatsky put out a, a piece the other day, uh, highlighting that the use of bond insurance uh, is really beginning to rise or continuing to rise um, as met investors hunt for yield uh, down the credit spectrum and, and further out the curve in this low rate and tight spread environment. Um, you know, we certainly uh, continue to see that across the entire credit spectrum. Um, and, uh, you know, we would, as we've been highlighting, the, uh, the overall penetration rate um, continues to stay elevated post, uh, post-COVID. Um, and a big part of that growth has really been, um, you know, the, the higher penetration in higher quality credit. So um, this week alone, uh, 116 million out of the 280 million that BAM insured actually carried at least one AA minus category rating. So we, we continue to be very pleased with the diversity uh, in the uh, in the growth and utilization. Right. In addition to the higher rated bonds, we're starting to see uh, more activity on the ESG front as well. I know the BAM's largest single deal uh, this week, uh, City of Mishawaka, Indiana, uh, was a BAM Green Star transaction, about $51 million for a water and sewer system there. Uh, what other transactions, anything else stand out in this week's calendar? Uh, yeah, th- this week, uh, you know, we'll, we'll dip back down. Um, this coming week, we'll dip back down again. Uh, estimates for supplier around $7 billion, uh, maybe just a little bit under. Um, so it looks like, you know, despite a couple of strategists calling for heavier supply in May, June, July, um, you know, we're going to have to wait at least at least another week before uh, before seeing that pick up. Um, but, uh, but, you know, uh, it, it, that'll be about uh, uh, 5 billion negotiated, uh, about a billion six competitive, uh, a little over a quarter is going to be in the taxable uh, side with, uh, with about 1.8 billion in taxables. Um, but, uh, but, you know, relatively quiet, it, it's definitely going to be more high grade oriented this week. Um, BAM's activity is, it may be highlighted uh, by the, uh, the Washington Convention and Sports Authority deal, uh, which is being priced by Siebert. Um, BAM has provided capacity for that, uh, for that uh, credit, uh, but insurance utilization is going to be determined uh, at, at pricing. So, uh, so we're waiting to see on that. Um, away from that, uh, $25 million uh, for Cicero, Illinois. Uh, and 20 million for Carnes Area School District in Pennsylvania uh, will be two of the larger sales uh, that BAM is insuring next week. Great. Well, thanks for uh, for all the insights this week, Brian, and we'll uh, talk to you next week. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, and adding BAM insured municipal bonds to your portfolio is easy. Talk to your investment advisor, visit buildamerica.com, or look for BAM eligible bonds on the Perform Portfolio Management System. BAM. Build America Mutual.